Hey guys. So it's Friday evening and we're home. Well, me and Bobby are. Because and we're home and the problem is that the baby is still inside of Bonnie. It's supposed to be like in the crib in the other room. No, it's in Bonnie still. I can't go this way. Finally found a phone. Well heck was the bedroom. And I posted it on Facebook, and of course there's a lot of comments. What happened? What's going on? So, it's a little more light in here. I'll explain to you real quick. This is what's up, okay? Stand here. Light. Good. So, we're there. We're at Buffalo Children's Hospital. We're getting ready. We're all ready. We're, we're ready. We're in. There's like a room waiting to go into the operating room, okay? She's got the IV. She's dressed up. They got me in this ridiculous looking jumpsuit gown thing i look like the stay puff marshmallow man i'm not saying that's a bad thing because he's freaking sweet as in marshmallows are delicious but we're ready to go and also the doctors are like they just start huddling up and talking and it's like what the hell's going on and the one the anesthesiologist is super pissed he's ready to go he's like what is going on they're going through paperwork and there is a date an original date of July 19th for Bonnie's due date, which would be like the full term, but they'll usually do deliveries around 39 weeks. No one saw that date until today. A date that was set almost nine months ago was not seen until today. So they decide we can't, we could do it, but it's too dangerous for the baby. Um, we're going to postpone it. Well, how long are we going to postpone it? Um, four days. A whole four days. I don't even know what that is. 48, 96 hours. <laughs> Freaking lame. So Tuesday, we have to go back out there. It's a little later. It's We got to be there at 11 for a 1 o'clock surgery. So we won't be spending the night out there again. It's just going to be get up and go. But I'm seriously ready right now. To have my daughter home, okay? I mean, not right now. I mean, the plan was we'd be in the hospital probably till Monday morning. But, like, look at this. The crib's all ready to go and everything. You know? Well, except for the diapers we just bought today. Like, we were ready. But on the plus side, um, at least the weather wasn't too bad on the way home, which is good. Unfortunately, for most of our friends who are in Jamestown area, I, from what I read on Facebook, you guys got slammed. Um, a lot of stuff getting closed today. So on the way home, um, our babysitter, Kathy, Nick, if you're watching this, you guys are awesome. They said they'll watch DJ one more night. So that's one thing we don't have to deal with. And then there's a small thing we don't have to deal with. My mom and sister still have the dog. So it's like, oh, sweet. I don't have to walk the dog in the freezing cold tonight either. So, that's, so that is a plus side. Um... But that's what the deal is with Bonnie. There wasn't any complications. Nothing was wrong with Bonnie. It was pretty much Buffalo Children's Hospital screwed up the dates. Okay? So now we have to be there Tuesday morning. And they promised us, oh, we're not going to send you home again. Tuesday morning, there'll be a baby. So they, they better hold to it. Um, how pissed are we? Um... Bonnie's friend Jesse asked um, asked her, hey, on a scale of 1 to 10, how upset are you? And Bonnie's legit answer was 50. I'm super, super pissed. Um, I mean, a couple of highlights was our doctor's last name was Shaman, spelled S-H-A-M-O-N. So I'm like, holy shit, our doctor's a shaman. Sweet, earth magic, baby. Then it's, we're not going to have him Tuesday, though. And, and I, he was confusing me, too. Cool guy, but confusing me. Because he's like, um, the medical college, you know, the guys that set the standards and stuff, do not deliver a baby before 39 weeks. And, like, he's just drilling that in. 39 weeks, 39 weeks, 39 weeks. Tuesday, Bonnie will be 38 weeks. But that's okay. I don't know. And if you're a doctor and you're watching this and you're going to throw in your two cents, don't. Because I'm already confused. You're just going to confuse me more, okay? Anyway, he's a good doctor. It's just It was the people in the high-risk clinic that set these dates and somehow screwed up and didn't see these dates. And I would love just to go to Dunkirk and go to Brooks. 
okay, and not have to go all the way to Buffalo. Now that it turns out the competition Spani was supposed to have is not having, but it's just not meant to be. So we're going to go to Buffalo Tuesday, have a baby. So stay on my Facebook, stay on my YouTube. There'll be videos, there'll be pictures. It's definitely going to happen. It better happen. I won't, I will film my phone. Um, if you're still watching this, I need your help or something. I'm not sure what to call these videos. Because these aren't the videos where it's like, hey, I had a good day. Let me tell you about it. No, this is another gripe. Like the light bulb video. So it needs a name. I, I want to do something, <laughs> even though I'm already using the Hulk music for the Misconnection videos. I want to do something Hulk related. Like maybe Sumo Smash or something. I really don't know what to name it yet. Um, and I got this cool thing of, you're making me hungry. You would like me when I'm hungry. And then all of a sudden the splash screen. Sumo Smash! You like how I kind of pause there so you can do a screen cap? I'm a good guy like that. <laughs> So my, my gripe things, they need a, a name. Oh, 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 and if, in case my day couldn't get any worse. Let me show you this real quick. This is my nerdy side that wanted to cry this afternoon. We stopped at the Babies R Us slash Toys R Us in McKinley on the way home just to get some more diapers, just to make sure we're ready, okay? Now locally in our Walmarts and Kmart here in Fredonia, Jamestown, Lakewood area, I've been trying so hard to find the new series of Lego minifigs. Yes, I collect Legos again like I did as a little kid. Are they as much as they were when I was a little kid? No, they're fucking up there in price. But these minifigs, you know, it's kind of like a trading card. You buy a, a package. You have no idea what minifigs in there. There's 16 figs per series. Um, series 9 just came out. I don't own any of them. I have a couple 7s, some 8s. I have no 9s. I've been trying to find them around here. Toys R Us in the McKinley area near the mall there, they actually had them. They had two full boxes of them. So I'm like, well, I'm not going home empty-handed. I grabbed two packages of these Series 9 figures that I don't have any of. Look at this bullshit. Both of them. Julius fucking Caesar. Which, don't get me wrong, he's he's pretty cool. He's got the, the gold leaf thing in his hair. And he comes with this tablet. Vene Vede Vici, but of all the fucking luck, especially with what's been going on earlier today, of course I grab two random packages and get the same two minifigs. I was really hoping for like the one-eyed ogre they have, just because the main reason I'm collecting these is to use for D&D miniatures, because they're cool as shit. So, kind of upset about that. They're cool minis, but I don't need two of them. So, hey, anyone watching... You got minifigs for trade. You need a you need a Julia Caesar. You let me know. I hook you up. Okay. So that's my gripe for today. Hopefully tomorrow will go better, so I don't have to post another gripe video, another Sumo Smash video. You know, hopefully tomorrow we can get through that without me posting another one of these. But anyway, I'm gonna go relax. First thing I did, I came home, took a dump, put my PJs on. Be jealous of my superhero PJs. Um, but I'm going to go relax now. Y'all have a good night. Peace out. Where's my exit button? Turn. Stop. Stop recording. I will smash your fucking face.